Good morning. Can't see me. It's 7.30. Ninety-three point two. That puts me down. I don't know. One ninety-three point two. I always tell Trevor. Trevor. One ninety-three point two. Sweet. <laughs> two thirty-six. Take away 193, what did I say it was? Two? 42.8 pounds, I don't remember exactly what the number was. 42 pounds I'm down, but my highest weight is 245. 193.2, 51, that's crazy. Take medication. For my thyroid, I have an underactive thyroid. And I take vitamin D in the morning. I also take omega-3, but I take that when I have my lunch. Or sorry, my breakfast. I'm trying to get better at drinking like a lot of water first thing. I just I really hard to drink water in the morning. I don't know why. Florence! Florence! Go over here. Alex! Everyone's ignoring me. Hi, handsome. Alex, do you want... Turkey bacon? What? You want toast, sweetie? Yeah. Okay, good, because I already put it in. <laughs> Mommy. What? Um, I need, can you put on like a big, uh, that the what? Big, that book right there. This one? Yeah. Yeah, you have a library? I think two, no, like two more days. Okay. Where's your, um, Agenda. Is that school? Okay, make sure you bring it home tonight so I can sign it, okay? I know. You too. Love you. Love you too. You have a good day too. There you go. Alex, is this oh. yours or Florence's? It's mine. Okay. Does I need that brush? Yeah. I want to do it. Oh. You want to do it? Yeah. Can you brush your teeth? There we go. Is that how it look like now? What's up, my people? What's up, little dudes? We made it on time. <laughs> For, once. For once. It's eight on the dot and off they go. As soon as the kids go off to school, like I kid you not, the minute their bus picks them up, I'm out the door to the gym. So I take my water, the bus will be there in a couple minutes. So I take my water, I take my phone, because, um, you know, music. My shoes are already in my car. I've already got changed. I didn't think you guys would care to see me brush my teeth and all that kind of stuff. I'm making sure I have everything. My sneakers, my headphones, my phone, my water. Now, as soon as I see the bus go past, then I leave to go to the gym. I just don't want to leave before the bus picks them up, you know? Because, like, what if the bus didn't show up or something? But, like, this is my routine to a T. Like, I have to... I hear the bus. You'll see it go by. 
There it goes. Um, I have to go to the gym right away. Like, it's just, I don't know, it's one of those things. It's 9.30, I'm just finishing up at the gym. I didn't want to film anything in the gym because it was like really busy and you know, I'm sure other people don't want to be filmed working out. But I got most of my water in so far for the day. Before I take a shower, I wanted to show you these leggings that I wear. They're high waisted. I got them at Costco. I'm not sure if you can tell, but they have so much support rate. Like they go pretty high. They really are good for working out. They go high up here as well. Um, so they're the Costco brand, I guess, the Tough Athletic or something. But I, oh, where am I? I really like it because if I, I feel like these are the perfect leggings for if you have like the mom tummy, especially like the C-section mom tummy or um, loose skin. It, it really like holds you in so tight. And especially when you work out, like it doesn't, it's like not an issue. They don't write down. I find it helps absorb sweat. They're really nice. Um, and they're just Costco black workout leggings. I don't know. I, I don't know the name of them, but ugh, I want another pair so bad. Do you guys use these turpy twists? They're so good, except my hair is getting a bit too long for it. But, okay. This, I'm making breakfast right now, and this is the bread I've been loving. I get it at Costco, so I buy it kind of like in bulk and I freeze it because we don't have a Costco. I don't think I mentioned to you guys, but what I I do, um, so I just take it straight from the freezer, put it in the toaster. I'm not following any uh, diet. I don't have any allergies. I don't have any, besides uh, underactive thyroid, I don't have anything else. Like I, I don't have diabetes, I don't have high blood pressure. So just take that into consideration when you're watching what I eat. This is just what works for me. It may not work for you and I'm not following anything. So if you see something that is like, oh, you should not be eating that. I know, like, I don't know. It's just, I, I'm just, this whole weight loss thing has been just me trying to learn how to live every day without feeling restricted or like I'm on a diet. So anyway, these are the stuff that, that have been working for me. So I have the toast and I'm probably gonna have a bit of pineapple with it. And I, it's almost 10 o'clock, it's 9.57. And I do intermittent fasting. So I eat from 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. It's been working really good for me. It's very, very, very doable for me. There is hard days for sure, especially in the evenings where you just wanna eat and you're fasting. But for the most part, it has been very smooth sailing and I feel like it has contributed a lot to my weight loss. So I don't know, it's not for everybody for sure, but it works for me. I like it. I like the way I feel when I'm doing intermittent fasting. Um, so my first meal is at 10. I also have coffee in the morning. That's what you're hearing there. It's being made. So the toast is done. I use natural peanut butter. You have to store it upside down, but that's what it looks like. Is not, I take like a tablespoon and that does both of my slices of, well, almost all. <laughs> take a little bit more. My bread. Natural peanut butter is a taste you gotta get used to. <laughs> For creamer in my coffee, I'm gonna use this. I know, I know, this is nowhere near healthy. This is the double double one. It basically just makes your coffee taste sweet. I don't even know how much I put in. I probably put in, I don't know. I don't, that doesn't bother me. I don't track that and yeah. You know, I only drink one coffee a day so I'm not too worried about it. A big part of my success so far in weight loss has happened right here in my little nook of the house. This is where I get my mindset right. I use a planner 
I'm using the Erin Condren Life Planner and I map out my day every single day. So the night before, I always know what my intentions are for the next day. But the real thing that has helped me tremendously is my food log that I write down. I've been doing this for months and months and months and months and I record everything that I eat and I've shown this before and I write down my exercise, keep track of my water intake. My favorite thing out of all that I do every day in my routine is I write in this journal which is my start today journal which was made by Rachel Hollis and it is a way to set intentions for your life. So the planner is more of like a day to day thing but this one is a way to focus on where you're going in life. So it says, um, today I'm grateful for. So I practice daily gratitude. You write out five pieces of gratitude every single day. And then it says 10 dreams that I have made happen. So you write down 10 dreams you have for your life, but you write them down as if they've already happened. So it's just a way of the brain not being able to distinguish a uh, it is something to do. It looks at it as something that it's already done and it's very helpful. Anyway, so you write down 10 dreams that you want to make happen and then you write down a goal that you're working on. And my goal, I don't know if you can see that down there, but it says lost 50 pounds. That's my first goal. And as you've seen this morning, I'm so close to it. And I've been writing down I've lost 50 pounds since January. So I'm about to achieve like my first real goal. So that's kind of exciting.